what we are. Uh, episode four, I think it is. We're in about week five, week six. Not going to be too much of a crazy fucking day in the life type shit because we've been a bit of a rush. I'm been busy as usual. Down about five kilos and feeling good about it. On and off on the diet, like had a couple of high carb meals and stuff like that, just to like, so I felt I was losing weight a little bit quickly. Um, so yeah, but progress has been good so far. Five kilos, five to six weeks. Uh, I know this is episode four I did this week and got a busy schedule these days. Sorry. <laughs> Where was we? High carb meals. High carb meals recording. Um, but yeah, just gonna train a little bit of chest today. Progress has been good, cardio has been through the roof. Um, so yeah, just a normal meals day. Around about 2,300 calories now, dropping it down from 3K um, to mid 2000s. That's what it was, dropping it down to about 2,300 now, just lowering the carbs and throwing some little carbs a day uh, in. But yeah, just one uh, resistance training session today. And we hit a bit of chest, and then that's all. <laughs> Ching Chong Cha for who goes to get the energy drink. Ching Chong Cha. Ching Chong Cha. Fucking yeah. Off you go. <laughs> Alright, yo. Uh, welcome to the chest workout more based on contraction this one rather than strength and pushing heavy weights i do believe i do go up to a bit of a heavy weight watching the workout back going to a flat bench but i decided to warm up my upper chest with the incline bench then move straight on to flat um, just to activate my upper chest my uh, place i believe i am lacking a little bit at the moment just trying to get them fibers firing once again um so a bit of pre-exhaustion slash activation for the upper chest before we head to flat bench we start on 100 for the first working set i got get about eight to ten then we move up to 120 and then 130 just for the nice strong set and the overload i think i get about three reps on the 130 strength is still here a little bit well it almost completely is here. I was hitting 5x5 five five on 130 um, just before I started this cut, but that is full strength mode. Uh, after that, and after Haley's done fucking around with the camera, what a bitch, um, I dropped down to 110 and do a set of five on pause reps. Always switching up in my compound movements, looking to always get um, the best of both of what I can do um, when doing the compound movement. So I didn't really make much sense of that. So I'll do normally a pyramid going up high reps and then higher the weight till it's impossible to do what is considered high reps plus eight, so on, so on, so on. So I normally do about five, three, then I drop off, do some pause reps, which works on the explosive works, uh, works, works on the explosive, explosiveness and sticking points. And um, then I normally finish it off with high reps. So I'm hitting all the fundamentals of strength training, bodybuilding, aesthetics, and so on and so on. And just completely overloading the chest and the front delts. Then move on to a superset of incline dumbbells mixed with incline uh, press-ups, diamond press-ups on the end of a bench. No way near as hard as regular press-ups, a lot easier, but this is just to get the contraction in and I found it does work. That really, really gets your upper, chest, upper and inner chest activated. Then we move on to the more sculpting, the more mind to the muscle connection. Truly believe you can get a good workout in without any um, over the top weight. Um, so flat dumbbell bench it is really try and um, let the dumbbells take me past parallel to where my chest is 
stretching all them chest fibers out as much as possible. I'm more concerned about the stretch rather than the squeeze. And again, keeping a slight bend in the elbows. Should probably try and work on um, getting them straighter because that does stretch it out even more, but I do have to have a little bit of a slight bend in the elbows. Then on some dips to hit the triceps and the front belt adults, a bit of a compound body weight movement, which hits uh, delts, tries and chest, but I was more focused on chest here. And then we finish off some delt raises and then some front raises after that. But yeah, cut's going well, um, on and off. Ah, sorry. Um, with the side raises, I decided to do some standing military press with just to overload the shoulders. I think on this week, I hadn't hit shoulders for a while, but it was chest day. Can't be missing that chest day, boy, but I needed to catch up um, with my routine, doing the delts. Really moved off, push, pull legs again, because I feel like that's the new bro split. Yawning now, I'm bored of it, so I'm going back to my old ways of split muscle groups per, per exercise day, and then just finishing off with some front raises with a plate. Because although you do hit your front raises with mostly compound movement, shoulder press, chest press, all them good stuff, it is good to isolate them um, because they can often be neglected because of that reason people think they just hit them on the military press bench press chest press or dumbbell press that's all that done <laughs> what I don't know. that's all that done. that's all that done ended up doing chest and shoulders um because not really done like separate 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 uh chest and shoulders days recently not really have much organisation with my training and such. This, this whole series is probably going to be a bit all over the place, but we're getting there done. As you can see, I'm 102 on the scales again, so putting a little bit of kilos, but I'm alright with that because I've had a couple of high carb meals. Get it back down again. Um, the reason why I had the high carb meals is because I thought I was losing the weight too quickly, so I'm fine by that. Uh, yeah, that's all really. Go back, eat food, and then we're good for the day. Anything from you? No. Okay. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> hey yo, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to do a quick apology regarding how this series has ended up. Episode three, this is episode four. I don't know if it showed up on many servers because there's been like a copyright claim and YouTube has changed up all its uh, terms and agreements. So that's changed over a little bit. So. Yeah, this is just me apologising just for how all over the place this series has been. Not that it's been getting as much views as last time I did it and as much views as I used to, but people who are watching, I am apologising in regards to it. Um, anyway, this is episode four. I'm not going to try and promise to say I'll be back more on it, back more on it, but I am going to try and I am trying to be more frequent in my uploads and my content. And getting better and better because I feel like I'm just streamlining right now I'm just doing a video every now and then just for the sake of it and just being like oh I did a video because I did a video I've got to do this rather than how it used to be where I was trying to get better every time uh, uploads and all that good stuff um, but yeah it's just an apology and what I'm looking forward to trying to do going forward all right episode five we're going to try and get there on time we're going to make it better than episode four and better than what it has been all right, peeps. Peace.